Hello everyone, welcome back to the farm. Today we are tackling a leftover project from the spring. So, I don't know if any of you remember, we were fencing our entire perimeter with deer fence to keep the pesky critters out of our property. Um, we left a loose end because the creek was flooding. We couldn't get across it to um, fence across the creek. And the deer have figured out that they can come across the far side of the creek and still sneak inside the property. So my plan is I'm gonna string a high tension wire, like a cable across the creek, and then I'm gonna hang a four foot fence off of that and then string a four foot fence on top of it. I'm hoping that'll be enough of a deterrent, but um, there's only one way to find out. post there is where I stopped on the other side of the creek. I'm gonna go from the bottom of this back post all the way to the bottom of that one which is braced and um, that is what I'm gonna hang my fencing off of. I'm gonna take a moment and say thank you Blundstone for the best water shoes. These are my four year old Blundstone boots that I wore. I wore every single day for three years. I mean, maybe not the winter time, but every, every uh, possible day I could for three years and I'm still wearing them. They are my backup and my water shoes and they are also great when it's like 36 degrees out but I don't want to wear sandals because as you can see, they let a lot of air in. I am cheap and uh, I don't see any reason to buy a new pair of shoes. Well, I do have a new pair of these boots that I wear most of the time, but I don't see the point in buying a set of water shoes when I can wear these. Creek, but this side is fenced off all the way back to the post and I move it over to finish off the house side. I'm worried about um, branches and leaves and sediment building up on the bottom of this fence so which is why I left that part of it open. There it is set up so that it will lift. If branches and twigs and stuff catch on it, it will lift up but I don't want to make a dam and then uh, have water build up and make it rip this thing up. This, I just, I don't want this fence to end up 
five kilometers downstream. So this hole right here is the only part I gotta finish. And then this whole thing is gonna be fenced off. people fence crossing is complete it's not the prettiest thing in the world but hey I think that looks pretty good I don't know if any deer are gonna try jumping over this but we'll see I don't have a game camera but I'm gonna buy one I think it's worth the investment I'm gonna set it up like right here and then I'll be able to see if any deer are passing on the backside or if any deer try going underneath the fence. So thanks for watching. I hope this might help somebody. Um, you could follow us on Instagram. You can follow us on Facebook. And like I always say, thank you for watching. Have a great week.